All right, folks. So what I'm gonna share to you is called onion poultice. Onion poultice has been used uh, by our family for uh, a lot of years now, and it has always proven itself to be very effective. Um, I have found out that it's actually good for uh, colds, pneumonia, flu, any chest congestion, and even insect bites or stings, uh, bruises, sprains, and strains. So what we're going to use is uh, R, actually, one uh, piece of uh, the whole onion, okay, and maybe to some countries this is a large size and also two cloves of garlic i am adding uh, garlic because it's it has a very strong antibiotic effect uh, so these are all natural antiviral antibacterial um, i am no longer in the experimentation stage because i have proven it to work every time um, the first time I have used it actually was when my son was a toddler. Um, when he had pneumonia and he was not tolerating the antibiotic that the doctor has given him. He was just, you know, vomiting it. So let me start by chopping this onion. I'm going to be chopping them, okay? Of course, you peel the skin off first. You know, the very first time I have used this onion poultice was when my son was, I believe he was about four years old or five years old. Uh, he has been coughing and having fever every night. Uh, despite the antibiotic and the other natural remedies I was doing, it was not working. So one time, I actually called this lifestyle center. It's called Wildwood Lifestyle Center. Uh, it's a very good lifestyle center based in, um, I believe that's Tennessee, Chattanooga, Tennessee. So I called them and... I felt like I spoke with an angel there. She was actually a nurse. And I called her and it was very early in the morning. So, um, that was like around four in the morning. So she talked to me and she said, you know, don't give up. Uh, the, the enemy is just trying to discourage you. You might as well um, explore more on natural remedies. So she gave me this uh, tip, you know, about onion qualities. And so she said, don't, don't worry, it has always worked in her experience. So, yeah, so she also um, uh, instructed me how to do it. And this is exactly what she has taught me. And I am sharing this to you guys, especially to those mothers, if you want peace of mind, it's so hard when your kids are sick, even when your husband is sick or your spouses. And even if you're a single person and at a very symptom of your illness, you can just experiment on this, explore. I'm not saying don't consult your doctor, but you can add it to, you know, what, uh, what your doctor has recommended okay so and what else do we use um, so this is a small pot I just put like very small amount of water just enough to cover the, the the bottom of the pot the purpose is just to steam it we we don't really cook the onion but we just uh, kind of make it soft by the use of uh, medium heat okay because we don't want to uh, destroy the antibacterial properties natural antibacterial you know these things um, I don't know if I'm going to be fact-checked <laughs> 
But these things have been established for thousands of years. The whole world has been using natural remedies wherever you go, be it in India, Japan, Korea, they've been using their own natural remedies. And this one is um, it's also being used wherever you go. Okay, so this is how it is, and then I will uh, simmer it uh, for maybe simmer or steam for maybe few minutes and I'll be back all right so we are now trying to steam the onions just using the medium heat then what I do kind of simmering a little bit at the bottom I try to just mix them to make sure that you know the upper part is going to also have uh, heat to soften the the onion pieces. I didn't put a lot of water. Just like I said, it's just enough a very thin layer to cover the bottom of the pot. This one uh, I'm using a salad master. It usually heats up faster and the distribution of the heat is very even. So with uh, whatever cookware you use, you would need to adjust in a way that you will not overcook those chopped onions and the garlic too. Um, usually I would put the garlic last the day I put it all together there. But usually I just put it last so it doesn't get heated as much as the other onion uh, pieces all right so our onion and garlic are now quite steamed <laughs> so there are two things that you need to use this is um you know it's an oiled oiled old uh, pillowcase so we just cut it so that I could use it I don't have to really use it anyway so this is we're gonna use for the onion polities we're gonna make it into like a pouch and this is a rubber band so those are the things you would need okay so we will transfer this it's quite soft now but it's not really cooked, if you could see that. Okay. All right. So we'll just transfer it evenly. We, you, tr you transfer it to the middle of the cloth. And then you tie the ends. So you make it sure that you don't use a lot of water so we can use all the juices of this uh, chopped garlic and onion. Alright, so it is now in the middle. And what I do, I tie it right away. I tie the ends to close it. So it's like a pouch. We're not Dr. Quack here. I'm no longer, like I said, in the experimentation stage. I have proven this to work with my family. So you are also free because we're free to make choices when it comes to health. You are free to uh, explore, right? It, the proof of the the proof of the pudding is in the taste. So. <laughs> You also want to prove to yourself if it really works. And this does not cause any harm. But one thing that you need to do is you check the bottom, okay? The bottom's temperature. 
and see if it's going to be too hot for the patient's chest. All right, so I'm also using a mortar, okay, a small mortar to smash those softened onion pieces and garlic to extract more juices so that when you put it on the patient's chest, I'm not talking about patient in the hospital, I'm talking about your family member who's sick. Your, the, their skin pores will absorb the juice. Okay. That was the purpose of steaming it a little bit. But don't over steam. Alright, and then you apply this on the patient's chest for at least 30 minutes. It takes 20 minutes for the skin pores to absorb whatever you put in on it. So that's it. So that is my onion poultice. That's how I do it. It's really easy, but it's been very powerful so far with my family. You want to make sure also that um, you give them healthy food, you know, all natural as much as possible. Don't give them anything with refined sugar or else the battle that you're fighting is just going to lose <laughs> because Refined sugar paralyzes the white blood cell, uh, you know, your immune system. So you don't want to do that. So give them copious amount of one lemon water and whatever you have like lime or calamansi juice uh, without sugar, of course. Yeah, anything warm, don't give them cold uh, beverages or it's not going to help, uh, especially if it's a cough or you know a pneumonia issue so that's it i hope uh, you get to experiment on it when you know when needed okay all right